Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, the best place for new and emerging leaders who want help navigating challenging conversations in the workplace. So for those of you who are new to me, I'm Jaboria Scott, a leadership coach and consultant, and I'm back today with another day in the life. Since today is President's Day, I thought it would be fun to let you go with me as I run a few errands and go around town. If you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comment below and don't forget to let me know what your favorite part of my day was. Let's get to it. I'm gonna make a smoothie as my first meal of the day before I head out to run my errands. Just something really small. I have some blueberries here and then some blackberries that I wanna finish up. And then of course, I always put this spinach in there from Publix. And then I have a ground flaxseed and chia seed mix that I put a few tablespoons of and then I may add a banana and I like this spirulina uh, tablets cholera tablets pack that I usually put in my smoothies and then I add some coconut water for hydration coconut water has a lot of good vitamins and minerals for your body to keep you healthy and hydrated and then we use this green surge powder which has greens like a superfood you know Different people make them, but I really like the taste of this one because it's kind of sweet. Yep, so that's it. I forgot to mention that I added a little bit oat milk as well to give it just a little bit more protein and a little bit more liquid. Here's a finished product. I drink a lot of smoothies because it is an easy way to get my fruits and vegetables in. And it's just easy and faster to just blend it all up and get it in. It tastes pretty good actually. I drink a whole lot of smoothies and I usually break my fast or my first meal of the day is usually something like this. I either pick it up from a juice store or Whole Foods or something like that or clean juice. Um, or I make one homemade which is quicker and easier when I'm on the go. So I'll finish this up and then head out. meet my mom for lunch and I'm waiting for her to get here so while I'm waiting for her to get here I thought I would share a couple of things about being a leader that people don't talk too much about I know sometimes when we aspire to leadership or we want to get a managerial role or we want to move up the ladder at our jobs and become the chief or the head person in charge there are a couple of things we don't think about. We think about how great the pay is going to be. We think about maybe some people like the power, the position, the ability to be able to make decisions and do things in better ways. Some people like the big corner office or being a part of the decision making group or whatever it is. I'm not judging what your reasons are for wanting to be promoted, but I want to remind you that leadership is hard it can be rewarding and it's definitely worthwhile in my opinion but it is hard and sometimes it's something in the back of our minds that we always know you know work is hard any job you take on has its challenging moment but leadership is hard and more is expected of you when you're at the top than when you report to someone or you're a direct report or you don't have any people that you supervise or that you're responsible for and while the pay may be good and all of the perks that come with it it can be thankless sometimes it can be challenging at the best of times and it can be lonely sometimes and so I thought it's important for me to share that with you you know because while there is definitely a lot of good in it being able to work with people, collaborate, decision-making, having a larger sphere of influence, um, the things that you learn, how you grow, how you evolve in your leadership. It is definitely something that there's a reason why they pay you a lot of money to be a leader. There's a reason why there is a salary increase when you become a manager. 
because the responsibility is a lot more and a lot more is expected of you and I'm all about people uh, knowing what they're getting into before they get into it but it's definitely rewarding if you apply yourself if you continue to learn and if you hone your craft being a good manager or executive or leader of any sort in any company I don't care what industry you're in it's not just about getting the position it is about the preparation before you get there and the preparation when you are there it's not an arrival spot it's a journey um, it's not a destination it is what are you going to do to continue to evolve learn and grow so that you are the best possible leader in that role as you take it on as you perform in it okay not have a cocktail while I wait on mom. It tastes so good. I prefer fruitier, sweeter cocktails and this is right, just the right combination of sweet and tart. It's called and just like that. Let me see if I can look at the menu and see what's in it. So and just like that has vodka that's always good. It has elderflower, cranberry, brown sugar spice and a hint of a lime. So that's why it tastes so very good. I'm back from Starbucks in the mall with my Starbucks espresso. I usually add um, like a protein shake to it. If you want to know the exact recipe and what I get, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll put it down there for you. So I want to show you what I got from Sephora and from Ulta. So I got a face mask, a spirulina. I never tried this one before, but spirulina is supposed to be good for you and I usually use the um, powder in my shakes as you saw earlier today so I thought it would be probably cool in a mask this is a sheet mask so I'm gonna try it on and let you know how it goes let me know if you have tried this particular one before and then I got an eye mask a coffee eye mask for under eyes so this looked very interesting so I can't wait to try this one out and then from Ulta I have used among the products that I use for my face are the ordinary brand and I follow Dr. V on YouTube she's a dermatologist and she gives really good advice for women of color I suffer from hyperpigmentation when I get acne and so they leave dark marks and scars and so I found her on YouTube and I've been following her and she gives really good advice on how to use the ordinary and how to combine them. So I'm going to leave her, the link for her channel below because I am not a dermatologist so I cannot give advice on what skincare products to use. I can only tell you what I use 
and disclaimer the ordinary brand is low cost and effective because they are the raw ingredients and so you may have some skin irritation so you definitely want to seek the advice of a professional dermatologist to tell you um, what to use and what not to use but I would be careful with these and definitely do a patch test before you use them because they can be irritating to the skin and harsh if you do not use them in the correct combination I have a couple of their other products um, like their vitamin C and um, I use other brand stuff too but I like to rotate them out I started using a few things from the ordinary and they have worked well for me so I thought I would share. Let me know in the comments below if you have used any of their products and what your favorite product is. So this is the end of the vlog. If you've liked this video, don't forget to click the like button and check out more of the vlogs on my channel as well as the sit down videos about leadership. I have a video with my trip to Antigua, Guatemala where I learned to make chocolate. So that was a lot of fun. So check that out. And also if you want more tips about how to become a better leader, how to get promoted. I have a bunch of videos about that in my video catalog, so be sure to check that out. As always, have a great week. Be kind to yourself, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.